Hello, my trash stars. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back. So we have some Starbies in our cup. Well, not Starbies. We are drinking out of a Starbucks cup. But we got some iced coffee or whatever in here. And today we are taking it back old school YouTube with a what's in my purse video. Now, I know these videos, some of y'all hoes may think it's a little bit dated or whatever, but like, I don't give a fuck. Miss Mojo Baby, Mojo Baby. Mojo Baby. That's a baby. She's always, she's always gonna be in the background of my, my videos, y'all. So yes, I know it's a little bit dated or whatever, but you know me, bitch, I don't care. So um, one of my friends, Devin, I believe I just watched like, she, she did like a what's in her purse video and I thought that was cool. And um, A Taste of Honey, I believe, is um, their channel name is, um, they also posted a like, what, a what, like what's in a trashy girl's purse. So I'm kind of like piggybacking off of that because I didn't know what to film today, but I was like, let's do some classic Y2K YouTube vibes today and let's film a what's in my purse video. So um, even though it's not in my purse, like I have a Starbucks cup collection and I always have a Starbucks like in my hand. So if you see me like, it's giving very much like, like, like you know that's what I'm doing ah! okay let me put this down so y'all don't hear ice shaking but the Starbucks cup I'm gonna just put it here this is my bag it's a medium size brown Telfar bag ah! see <laughs> oh bitch I don't ever listen Anyway, this is my purse. It's a medium sized brown Telfar bag. Um, maybe I will do a purse collection one day, but like, I don't know, like, I'm not one to do shit like that um, because it's just material items and I also feel like niggas are getting robbed in LA. Like, I don't know about all that. But anyway, it's the brown, the medium brown Telfar. I always wanted this color because it's super 70s, but it's also super professional, like for work. But then, like, when sometimes I go to happy hour after work, and I feel like this bag is such a good transitional bag, too, because it's also like it's classy, it's like a classy color. It's very fall color. I probably should switch the bag out now that like it's spring here. Um, but I love that it's like not too big, it's not too small, it's a perfect, like, it can. It, it holds me down so um and I got this bag when Telfar did their um bag security program because if, if you know anything about Telfar aka the Brooklyn Birkin <laughs> you know these bags are like they sell out really fast whenever they have a drop so if you did a bag security program you were able to purchase a bag you have 24 hours nothing will sell out and you get to take your time and like shop their website so just keep a lookout. I believe they do that like twice a year. But I also did get their bags. I have their Ugg bag that I've never worn. And I have a medium, not medium, a small pink bag. And both of those bags I didn't get on bag collection. I was just like setting an alarm clock, making sure I had all my credit card information in time to check out so I can get those bags. But anyway, let's see what's in this hole. So... Hopefully there's nothing too incriminating in here, but let's see. Um, I'm not gonna like show all this, but my wallet. Okay, my wallet's in here. <laughs> I got my cards, credit cards, ID. I have some cash. I got like, I mean, I don't really carry cash that much, but because I don't like, I don't like carrying cash. But I do have like a $2 bill and like I don't spend $2 bills because I feel like they're going to be worth a lot of money one day. I have a five and two singles. So I have like five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have like $9. But technically I have seven because um I don't use the other vibes. But yeah. So 
that's that okay let's just keep that under here i don't I, you know some people on their what's in their purse videos they will show you like the wallet i don't play like that like i don't want to accidentally show a number an address i don't play like that like i don't i don't like that so here we have our keys yeah we have our keys ho so um my apartment keys and then this is my parking garage like remote fob thing i do have a parking spot but i don't have a car but i pay a hundred dollars a month for it because i will get a car one day i will i will i get my license in january and when it's time for me to like make that step to purchase a car i will but right now with these gas prices ho like i i feel like i'm probably better off just taking my ubers tied to go pen you never know when you're gonna have a little mistake so like to keep the tie to go pen airpods i don't want to open it but in connect but yeah like airpods green case i still like having airpods i don't know about y'all hoes if you know you know i live in california so but y'all ain't i'm not getting caught up i'm single but i'm still not getting caught up fuck all that shit honestly and don't forget to take it ho like honestly like if you are active right now if you have a boyfriend if you just hoeing like living your best life love that for you don't forget to take it like if this this is your reminder bitch don't forget to fucking take it um i have fibroids and a bunch of issues with my uterus so um uh, active or not like i take them as like daily medication because i'm anemic and not to get tmi but my periods are intense af ho like sometimes like i can't even go to work because of them i don't know if this is helping or making it worse ladies leave me some comments um below if you feel like if it's making it worse or if you have any like endometriosis or anything like that uterine fibroids anything like leave me in the comments your experience with next i have a uh, nail glue always keep nail glue in case someone broke a nail or sometimes when i have my nails on i do press on nails um that way i will have glue I just want to rolly, rolly, rolly with my eyes. I have my watch in here. Um, I'm not really going to go deep into that. Um, I, as again, I told you how I feel about talking about certain items. But I, I don't know why I just have my watch in there. Um, I, cause I, there's a watch repair shop by me and I keep forgetting to go there because like, I need to repair the bands on my watch, but whatever. And then I have an extra K. Always keep spares on you. And I got some quotas. One quota. Ooh, child, I got 75 cents. One more quarter and then that's a load of laundry. So that was in the little small compartment. Okay, I forgot to show you all what the bag looks like. It's a mess, honestly. But that was a small compartment and next i'm gonna show you the big compartment there is always a helicopter what are y'all doing oh my god y'all really committing the felonies oh my god anyway have some hand sanitizer honey i just touched cash too when i just showed you all the cash i don't care panini no panini I've always was the bitch to sanitize her hands. Like, how are you not? Like, even before this, like, you little nasty. You little nasty. Um, I have my little brush. Every bitch should have a brush in their bag, you know? Um, a little Ziploc bag of mask. Never know when someone needs a mask. 
um, the mandates are over here in LA, but obviously like when I went to my dentist to get my crowns in, it's a medical facility. Totally respect that. Had to wear a mask. Like I get that. Like I feel like it's pretty normal in a health place to still have a mandate. So I keep masks on me because since there isn't a mandate anymore, sometimes I forget to bring one. Um, and Uber still requires a mask and I take Ubers and sometimes I take public transit like the bus and you have to wear a mask. So I keep them on me and there are still some businesses, not all, there are some stores that still want you to wear one. So that way I have one and anyone I'm with, if you need a mask, like I have it. One girl, she couldn't get into Chipotle. This was before the mandates ended. And I was like, you want a mask? Like, so she was able to get Chipotle. <laughs> so yeah. Got me some lotion, some hand lotion. This is the Vaseline. Because of all the sanitizing and extens extensive washing of hands we've all been doing, hopefully, but I know some of y'all hoes are nasty. Um, I've been, my nails and my hands are always dry. I'm getting kind of scared that like, I'm going to have like wrinkly hands. Which would not be a vibe because like I do skincare, I, I'm always moisturizing and I'm like, imagine bitch, I have like nice skin when I'm older. I moisturize my neck and everything and I'll just be like, my hands would be like, hmm. don't want that. We have a receipt from Target. I bought a lime, one lime because I love tequila and with tequila, you need some limon. Some limon. <laughs> Bitch. All these damn receipts. Walgreens receipts. I bought some paper towels. And yeah, I don't know what that is. BLT, what? Goldfish. Okay, I bought goldfish. My little travel size deodorant. I don't want to hear y'all talking about this deodorant. Why ain't you using natural deodorant? You're using this little like cheapo suave deodorant. Look, bitch. Y'all natural deodorant hoes. Y'all can keep y'all natural deodorant vibe. Like I don't want no parts because y'all be smelling all sorts of funky. Like I know the natural deodorant like. It like it re like removes toxins and like at first like you have this nasty scent because all that shit is leaving, and I get that like I do get that and I feel like you should do that in the winter. But y'all, I live in LA. Like the bo here is real. Niggas be smelling, but um they really do. But the thing is like. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna always wear deodorant. Like, and yes, it's a little cheapo swab. Like, oh, it smells good though. This is sweet pea and violet. It's invisible solid. Like, it does its job. You know, I eat a lot of processed food, so this is not harming me any more or less than my pizza rolls. <laughs> y'all, what did I tell y'all, hoes? More hand, more hand cream, bitch. More hand cream. I bought this at Ralph's. They put a little paid sticker because he always think people are stealing. Little hose. But yeah, so I got me my gold bond ultimate healing hand cream. It's so important. As I said, moisturize your hands, bitch. Because like my nails be breaking as shit. And kind of need to put my press-ons back on because... Press-ons like protect my nails from getting brittle because I wash my hands so much as I said before So sorry. I keep playing with my hair like I'm trying to figure out like You know what I'm doing. So yeah hand cream Super important <sighs> Let's see got my white tooth comb um, All my black girls like y'all already know about the white tooth comb like <laughs> bitch i don't even have to explain shit you already know about the white tooth comb you should be combing your wigs with a white tooth comb like stop 
And then the next thing we have is like this um, KKW like perfume. It's like part of their gemstone vibe. Like it's called. Bitch, I don't fucking know. I just said you do perfume. It's the perfume. My mom gave it to me when she came um, over the holidays last year during Thanksgiving. I forget what gem it was to represent. It came with some gems, like little crystals. And like, I have other perfumes that you probably see over there, but like, I don't like to bring those with me. This one is really like, hold on, let's do that one more time. It's very fruity. It, it's very, it's like a more, it's like a more sophisticated, like, like Bed Bath & Beyond Victoria's Secret scent. And I mean that in a great way. It's very like, what a trashy girl would smell like, but like the trashy girl that worked at the gas station, but now she has a job um, in, at a nursing home and she's making a little bit more money now. So she's feeling a little bougie and she bought like a KKW like perfume and lotion set from Macy's and like she wears her little Michael Kors bag. Like that's what this reminds me of. And again, I mean that in like the best way because those are my type of bitches for real, so um <laughs> next i have these sunglasses these aren't designer or anything um i've never bought designer sunglasses because one i always break sunglasses and two i get tired of sunglasses really easily and three i'm always just like fucking shit up or losing shit my lashes make these like hard to like but i get these at h&m they're from the men's department but like something about them like I feel really like, like I feel like a boss. Like I can't like imagine me just like, like hold on, hold on, hold on. Imagine me just like, just walking around like, <laughs> bitch. You know like. Just like being that girl. You see it? Okay, stop. You see it, ho. <laughs> you ho see it. So I got these from the men's apartment. I like that they're like all black um, and they block the sun. That's another thing. Like I have a lot of like fun, fashionable sunglasses, but again, I live in LA and you really like, you need your sunglasses to really protect you from the sun here because the sun can get harsh and we have some harsh uh, sun rays, especially in the summer that's soon and quickly approaching. So gotta get ready for that. I always keep a portable charger on me with a, y'all didn't see that. <laughs> with a iPhone cord, obviously my iPhone will be in my purse. This is my phone case. I feel on my iPhone, this case is too chunky. It's not like my ring light fits it, but it doesn't sit how I need it to fit. So I just have to drop it anyway. This is my case. I have an iPhone 12 Pro. And let's see, we got some papers in here. The whole tag. My little tags for my sunglasses that I bought at each and them. Some receipts, parking voucher, and last but not least, bitch, the crime is going up, right? We already know that. So you don't want to get caught lacking, right? Like y'all don't want to get caught lacking. What did you say? What did you say? What the fuck did you say? So. Okay, honestly, like. 
Imagine me with the sunglasses. Okay, and just like, oh, yeah, yeah, shut up, bitch, yeah. What? So that's what's going on and obviously I'm a woman so yeah I keep I keep that thing on me I'll keep that thing on me you have to like you know so and I pray every day to God that I will never ever have to use it like I don't ever want to use it like I don't want to use it like what don't you understand bitch I don't want to fucking use it And I like that it comes with like this little protective case. Um, it comes with this little thing. So you just pull, once you pull that out, you know, it keeps it on or off. So that, honey, it is what it is. And I believe I just got like a bite-sized Babe Ruth candy bar wrapper. Okay. More my phone case from my iPhone 12 Pro. Some trash. Good thing I went through this so I can throw some shit out. So that's all the contents inside of my purse. My Telfar Medium tote in the color. I believe they call this the tan color. Um, it's a tan brown color. It's a, such a 70s. Like It's just such a 70s color. And it's made out of vegan leather. To all my vegs out there. Miss Mojo, baby. This this leather is like animal friendly. So she definitely will appreciate that. So yeah, I love this bag. But I do think it is time to switch it up though. Because I've been rocking with this for so long. But I also like, I love it. It's just like the perfect, it's the perfect like work bag. And um everyday bag because it holds so much but it's still fashionable it's still a vibe you know what i mean like it's still a moment and i love to have a moment so but i'm not the type of person to wear the same purse like for months like that is just like no like that is so like i hate that like usually i switch out my purse every month i like why are you wearing one bag for like show anyways honestly Obviously, if you only have one bag, wear one bag, right? But if you, oh, I found a, an acrylic nail. I mean, a press on. That's why I keep that glue. <laughs> um, yeah, like, if you love purses like I do, like, you want to get your money's worth. So I have to wear all of my purses. Or then it's like, what did I spend on this money on? And in this economy, like, who's doing that? But yeah, that's what's in my Telfar Medium tan bag. Um, I really enjoy doing that. I really like that. Like sometimes those classic YouTube tags, they're classic and they're popular for a mick fucking reason, bitch. Like they're fun as fuck. I really enjoyed and it helped me clear out some crap from my purse. So if you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comments help me so much in the algorithm. Um, if you haven't uh, subscribed, become a trash star. Join the family. We're growing every single freaking day. Um, yeah. Love you. I love you. Yes, I do. <laughs> See y'all in the next video. Bye. Bye, my trash stars.